In this quick video, we'll quickly walk you through how to calculate your own CTR curve by using Google Search Console data. In the blog post, I have already laid out the different steps on how to set this up. So in this case, we set up RStudio and we'll be switching back and forth between the script that is available on GitHub. So let's head there right away. What we'll do is basically first make sure that all the right packages are installed. We do this by installing the four individual packages that are gonna be needed throughout the rest of the script and install them all individually one by one. In this case, I might already have them installed, but I will still follow the process so you hopefully can follow along. We just copy paste it on the command line and hit enter. On to the second package, the actual search console R package. We'll come back to it in a second. We install the packages for Deployer and ggplot2, which are basically used to visualize the data eventually. So there we go. One of them can take a little bit longer, but don't be afraid, like it should all be fine. After that, we're gonna make sure that we load all the specific libraries in our script. So we'll copy paste all three of them, hit enter, and we're gonna be fine. You might get some warnings that some of them might be built under a different version of R, but in this case, that shouldn't cause any issues for you. So we'll authenticate. And it will basically like look at the token cache file c.o, which will actually be put somewhere in a folder that you have already selected before. There's nothing here that you should be doing. Um, what we can do to ensure that the authentication works is just list the websites that are available in our Search Console account. And in this case, we're auto refreshing the still token that was used before. And you will see in this case that rvshare.com, which I've been logged into before, is already authenticated with this specific one. What you will notice the first time you start doing this and you authenticate with this is that you'll be redirected back to a Google account login in which you are asked to basically copy paste the code back into the specific console line. A very simple step, like just copy paste the code that you will see there and paste it back into the command line and just hit enter. So now we've taken basically like all the necessary steps for the setup. So we're going to declare the variables that are all set up in the script. Replace the full domain path, but which what with what is relevant for you or side. Um, so we're basically going to copy paste everything until right here. I'll make some adjustments in the script right now. Um, to basically like ensure that I don't give away any secretive data in here. So by doing that, I'll basically like select the specific chart positions and the data that we'll be using later. But you will notice that on the right side in the environment, the values for these specific variables will show up right away. Um, and for the specific start date, we'll pick something that is more like 20 days ago and the end date will be a little bit different too. So I could just give you a random timeline. Um, and now we're gonna retrieve the actual data from Google Search Console. And we'll be doing that by basically like copy pasting that whole batch of data in there. I'm gonna make one difference here as well to basically like not give you any secret data. I'm just gonna change the row limit to 300 so the data that we'll be seeing later is totally off from the example. Um, but obviously like I don't wanna give away my CTR curves here. So right now it's fetching the data and in this case it has already fetched the data because the timeline itself is pretty short. Um, and you will see that basically there is a data variable now which is called GSC data. Right after that, we're basically gonna run this whole part of the script right after that, because this is one of the visualizations that is gonna be important. And what you'll see here in the plot is that this is already your CTR curve in a different visualization. What we're gonna do right after is basically like run the second visualization, because like I'm gonna leave it up to you to decide how useful or not useful this is. Just copy paste that too and basically like hit enter. What you will see here is basically also what you noticed in the blog post itself already. You get the CTR curve for your specific positions that you defined before. All in all, 
it's basically very easy. Just copy paste the specific lines, but mostly at the beginning, don't forget to install the packages that are gonna be needed to install the rest of the script. I hope this was useful. If you have any questions, let me know.